Good day, and for this video, we are going to talk about agriculture. Of course, a lot of us know something about it, but a deeper understanding about what it is and what it entails, of course, needs to be further developed and uh, further enhance our understanding about it. And of course, in order for us to develop a further uh, appreciation about agriculture itself. As I've said a while ago, we have our own ideas about agriculture, but what is it? How should we define it and how should we treat it in this uh, matter, in this subject, in this video? Well, specifically, agriculture or agricultural activities pertains to cultivation of the soil, planting and growing crops and fruit-bearing trees, handling its harvest, raising of livestock or poultry. So, of course, this is the usual or the common understanding of agriculture, the planting, the tilling of the soil, getting our hands dirty, kika nga sa lumang kanta natin, di ba, magtanim ay di biro. So, pertaining to the usual uh, farmers, uh, planting rice in rice fields, getting their hands and feet dirty, uh, borrowing the mud all day uh, under the extreme heat of the sun. But, of course, agriculture is not just limited to the usual rice farming. It also includes practices performed by a farmer on a farm as an incident in conjunction with such farming operations. One major problem that we've had since the beginning is regarding the problem of who gets to own which and how much land. We all know that we had a very colorful history since we have been conquered by a lot of different countries, of course, being enforced with a lot of different laws and different sanctions and such. So we've had this problem with acquiring land or with, or with farmers owning land since the beginning. And this is actually one of the reasons why we have one uh, particular law being implemented here in our country, the Comprehensive Agrarian Reform Law, or the CARL, enshrined in the Republic Act number 6657. Particularly, this law promotes social justice, rural development, industrialization, and owner cultivatorship. So as a law, it needs to be implemented justly and must lead to the benefit of its constituents. And since our country is predominantly an agricultural type of country, these lands need to be utilized well or for the best use. In relation to the previous question, through this law, who will benefit the most? So, under the uh, Comprehensive Agrarian Reform Law, there will be reforms, meaning the redistribution of lands regardless of crops or fruits produced to farmers and regular farm workers who are landless. This will allow beneficiaries to receive a just share of the fruits of the lands they work. So, meaning the, um, the farmers or the farm workers, farmhands, will get a decent or the just share of their work. So if they, and this will prevent the abuse of landowners, which are, we'll say, greedy, who wants all the shares for themselves. And this is going to cover um, any type of farm worker, especially the regular or seasonal farm worker pertaining to those employed on a permanent basis or those who are employed on a recurrent, periodic, or intermittent basis by an agricultural enterprise or farm. So next is, since it's a law, how should it be implemented? So the highest consideration would be uh, for the welfare of the landless farmers and farm workers. And this is uh, in order to move the nation towards sound rural development and industrialization. This is particularly on the basis that farmers and, of course, regular farm workers has, their, has an inherent right to own directly or collectively the lands that they till. Or if not, to receive a just share of the fruits that they work for. 
Because of this, the state should recognize that. The state should recognize this inherent right of uh, all the farmers. And of course, the state will also apply the principles of agrarian reform or stewardship whenever applicable in accordance with law in the disposition or utilization of other natural resources. And it is the duty of the state to protect those rights, these aforementioned rights, and provide support through appropriate technology and research in order to develop more production or harvest. So even if the state has this program or this law, a lot more still needs to be done. There are still a lot of farmers who are landless, who are being oppressed, being denied of their rights. And this should be a call to every citizen of this country because this is a concern of everyone and needs to be acted upon as soon as possible. I hope that this was informative, but that's it for